Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 76 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajero. This week we start in the classic way with the scout's call. Let's check Bolini. 16 years old, oh no, powerful, inadequate, solid playmaking. I want to check see if he's young, 16 years and young. He is. Oh, we might have a gem here, Massimiliano Cipinetto. A powerful playmaker. Very nice. I like that gamble. Feels good. If you look closely on the portrait of Massimiliano, you'll see that we have a new set of kits in Inter Calvajero, heavily inspired by Internazionale Milano. These were made by R. Hedberg. And look at the attention to detail here. Umbro, classic kit maker for Internazionale in the 90s. And look at this uh, nice detail here, a little hat-trick star on the sleeve as well. And all in all, a classic inspired Inter kit here. Let's take a look at the away kit as well with the diagonal line here. Again, classic Umbro Inter kit. Really like it, really like it. And this green goalkeeper kit here, it gives me a sort of an 80s wipe with this uh, horizontal black and blue lines, the Neta Sudi. Very cool. Yeah, I would like for all of you guys to check out the designs that our Hitback has made for his own kits and all others. And I know that he's keen on making more kits. So feel free to ask him if you want some other design. Look at this Sweden design here. Also Umbro Pretty cool, and look at the attention to the detail with the Sweden Football Association logo here. Very cool. Really like this design as well. So uh, make sure you hit up our Hedberg, and uh, if you'd like to see more of his designs, and uh, we'll go ahead here and we will support both of his teams. As I said, he's keen on making more kits. It requires a lot of um, five-star ratings. So if we expand the view, please go and uh, give his designs a thumbs up so he gets more spots for uh, creating more designs. In the training department, we had no pups this week at all. A pretty boring training update. So let's move straight on to the sheet and have a look see how that has progressed over the last fortnight. All right, so if you look at Sonati, he is now at 2040. He's supposed to pop in playmaking soon, and Camellini actually popped last week where we didn't have a video. And it's been busy these days, and uh, I'll show you another indication of that later in this video as well. El Guano looking quite good, but uh, we are expecting these guys to pop fairly soon again in uh, playmaking because, well, they didn't, and uh, they are quite low. It's starting to come together and we are starting to boast quite a midfield rating with our core players, which is a nice effect of our cycle training system. Transfer news as Dwayne Dove was moved on and we ended up losing a little. He's actually already up for sale again, but we actually made a net loss the player here, but we have to save the wages and we will not really need his services since we are starting to cope well with the playmaking skill from our core players at this point. We did play the bot team twice in the league and we did win 2-0 away from home. We didn't really set the best lineup here, but we did manage to grab a win and if we pay attention to Trastula, you'll notice that he gained a booking in this match. And when we actually lined up for the return match at home, we fielded only 10 players. I was so busy, I didn't even notice Trastuli being banned for this one. So we had to beat the bot team 5-0, being only 10 men on the field. We had a little injury for Sanati in the 89th minute, gaining almost all of the training still. So that's pretty decent. Hopefully he'll be ready for the matches next week. I'm quite sure he will. If we look at the league table, we are now in the top half again, and we'll be playing Lokomotiv Latendich. It'll be an interesting encounter being even on points at this point in the league. And um, feels good to win twice in a row, but we also know that it's because we played the bot team. Trust truly will be ready next week for the match against Latendicht. That's nice for us going forward. In the youth department, we've been playing a few matches and we do see Bonifaci progressing slowly towards his uh, solid winger potential. He did gain a level in defending and is now passable. I think he's 6.1. He hasn't reached the cap in uh, defending and hopefully he'll 
be able to gain as much as possible. But for now, the focus is on maxing winger. 94 days left to train Bonifaci. Looking pretty good, I should say. That's all for this week. I want to end the video just having a little look on these very cool kits. Man, they are good. I hope you have a great week in Hattrick. I really hope to make a return to weekly updates with the Let's Play series in San Marino here. So um, take care. I'll see you guys soon.